Right here I have the Xiaomi Redmi 7. And today I'm going to be showing you how to boot this smartphone into what is commonly referred to as fast boot mode. This special boot mode for Android is also commonly referred to as bootloader mode. It just depends on where you are getting your information from. For example, Xiaomi calls it bootloader mode on the Mi Unlock program, but whenever we actually boot the phone into it, we have big letters that say fast boot. So it's really the same special boot mode. It's just ha it just has two different names depending on where you're getting your information from. So to boot the Redmi 7 into fast boot, mode, fast boot mode, we first need to power off the device. So we're just going to bring up the power menu, tap the power off option a, uh, a couple of times, and then wait for the device to completely shut down. Once the smartphone is turned off, we can boot into fast boot mode by pressing and holding the power and the volume down buttons at the same time. So we're going to press these two buttons down and we're going to continue holding these two buttons until you see that fast boot mode splash screen appear. Now as soon as you see that splash screen appear, you want to let go of those two buttons and now you are in fast boot mode. So from here, you can connect your USB cable and unlock the bootloader or you can connect your USB cable and issue any fast boot commands that you may need to. So now you know how to boot into fast boot mode. But when looking through the comments on my YouTube videos, I noticed a lot of people are accidentally booting into fast boot mode. Now there are a number of reasons why that might happen. The first most common issue is that the volume down button is being pressed and held down while the device is booting up. So this can happen from you holding the device a certain way to where you are pressing that volume down button while you are letting the device boot back up. It can also be a poorly made case. If a case is poorly made and is very restrictive, then it can press any of these three physical buttons without you really knowing it. So if you find yourself in fast boot mode on the Redmi 7 by accident, or if you have booted into fast boot mode to do something and now you want to get out of it, you need to manually boot out of fast boot mode, all we have to do is press and hold that power button. We're going to be holding this power button for about 10 to 15 seconds. And that's going to cause the Redmi 7 to reboot. As soon as the device reboots and that splash screen goes away, you can let go of that power button. And as long as you're not holding you, the volume up, volume down, or power buttons during this boot cycle, then the device is going to reboot, should reboot like normal and take you back into MIUI just like that. Now I, again I have seen other comments say that they, whenever they try to reboot out of fast boot mode they are taken back into fast boot mode and there's only a few reasons why that might happen. Again check your case, make sure you're not holding any buttons down whenever you power up. Um, there could be an issue with the MIUI software and it has put you into what is commonly referred to as a boot loop. Sometimes boot loops mean that it is going to loop on the boot cycle and the boot animation. So it's just going to try to boot up, reboot on its own, and then go through that same cycle again and again and again. Other... Um, types of boot loops mean that whenever you try to boot into Android you're going to be taken into recovery mode or fast boot mode. These type of boot loop issues are commonly caused by certain issues with Android itself. 
whether you have tried to install a root modification and it went wrong, or whether an over-the-air update that you installed went bad. Whatever the case may be, if you find yourself booting out of fast boot mode and then back into fast boot mode, even without a case on your phone, even without you touching the device, then there's probably something wrong with your MIUI install, and you're going to need to go through the typical unbrick process, which is a tutorial I will be covering in the future. But there we have it. That is how to boot the Xiaomi Redmi 7 both into fast boot mode and out of fast boot mode.